Joining us now, Senator Rick Scott, Republican from Florida. We're looking at those hearings, Mr. Senator, and all I see is procedural motions, interruptions, and a circus of lawyers talking to each other. Am I right? Is it a circus? Three ring circus. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think it's good TV. I don't right. think they're going to get high ratings out of this. Right. And, and, you know, what's interesting is there was a transcript. Remember how this started? You know, the president supposedly did something wrong in a, in a phone call. He ruined their day when he put out the transcript and he figured out, oh, gosh, maybe he didn't do anything wrong. But, you know, you, you started off before the break. You said, what am I outraged at? Yeah. So I started thinking of my list. See, <laughs> trillion dollar deficits, okay. $23 trillion dollars worth of debt. No budget. We don't fund our military. Uh, the International Olympic Committee gives uh, the Olympics in 22 to communist China, where you better not, you better have the oh, no religion because if you do, they'll put you in jail uh, for and make you, you know, re-educate re you. So, uh, so it's there's a, there's a whole list of things. 11 months up here, it's pretty dysfunctional, and these things are not getting done. Oh yeah, no secure border, no immigration policy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> there's a list. There's a long list up here. Other than that, are you having a good time in D.C., Mr. Senator? I don't think so. And, and I'm from Florida and it's cold. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> but the, the, there is real outrage. I think you are outraged at China. I don't think you want a trade deal with China, do you? Because of what they're doing with the Uyghurs and what they're doing in Hong yeah. Kong. I think, Stuart, I think it's, first off, it's more than trade. Um, you know, this, you know let's, let's remember who she is. He's the general secretary, or secretary general, uh, general secretary of the Communist Party. He puts a million people in jail for their religion. So it's, a, it's about human rights, too. I mean, the, you get detained, it might take your organs out. They agreed that they would give the Hong Kong citizens, when they took over Hong Kong, their basic rights, and they're trying to take that away. Promised Obama he would, wouldn't militarize the South China Sea. I mean, this is a guy that, that, that never complies with anything. And... How can you do a deal with them? I just don't believe. Well, I just don't believe there's going to be a deal. If you don't get a deal, you don't want to do a deal. Does that really hurt our economy? And if so, by how much? Well, I'd like to do a deal. I think all of us would like to do a deal, but you can't do a bad deal. You can't do a deal sure. that continues to let them steal our technology, not open up their markets. And so, if that's the deal, what's the benefit of doing a deal? Maybe they'll buy some, some, some products for a period of time. By, but by the way, remember, they promised to buy ag agricultural products products this year at times and then never done it. So maybe they'll agree to something like that, but you know they won't comply. They'll only do it if it's in their best interest. You know, and so th th those of us in, in the news business, the financial news uh, arena, we really are getting sick and tired of these endless headlines quoting uh, unnamed anonymous sources. It looks good, it looks bad, there's this and there's that. The market reacts up and down we go. I mean, we're getting sick and tired of this. I, I First off, I, I think it's it's, there's, no, there's not going to be a deal. They, I mean, I, they can't change their stripes. I mean, they steal. They, they treat people horribly. They're, I mean, they're the biggest polluters in the world, human rights violators. They lie, cheat, and steal about everything. I mean, they, they lie to us all the time, and we act like, oh, you've got a big market, so we better be nice to you. I mean, there's not going to be a deal. You don't, I mean, Stuart, how many deals would you do with somebody that you know has constantly lied, that you can't trust, that negotiates a deal with you and then takes back what they agree to? You don't do deals like that with people. True. It can't be a deal with them. But w what we've got then is a new Cold War. Absolutely. This is absolutely the new Cold War. Now, here's what, here's what I believe. I believe freedom, democracy, um, basic rights, rule of law, that will, that will mean... We're, we're going to continue to have a better economy. They're going to have a tough time. Uh, they're going to have a very difficult time. Centralized planning has never worked.